Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel Pixel and Frisket Finds. My name is Michelle and uh, on this channel we dig through some bags of thrifted jewelry uh, found at a garage sale, found at the thrift store, uh, on online. I find a lot of what I find is online on my Facebook marketplace actually, locally. So if you're on the lookout for it, you will find it the bags of stuff and um, one of my local Salvation Armies does these small bags and I've had this one for quite a long time went through it quickly quickly a few months ago and uh, I haven't gone through it to sort it out or anything yet so we're gonna go through it again today as well as this little dude here um, we'll start with this because this is something that I just picked up myself that I wanted I saw it and I thought it was weird and cool and I just don't know about it, you guys. Uh, I got it for half price, so it was only a dollar, not two dollars. It's just a, a pin. It's just a simple, been glued on pin. But what do you think? Is this actually a real jelly bean coated in something? <laughs> or has it been molded out of a clay or a polymer? I'm going to get in nice and close so we can have a good look here. So the texture of it, and you can see like it looks like it's been cracked. You know how a jelly bean's shell would crack. And the texture on the underside of it here is different. It's rougher. It's got that flat spot. You know how a jelly bean has that flat spot. <laughs> it has that. Anyway, this little guy, like, really tickled me when I saw it, and I had to buy it. I don't know if, I don't know if I'm going to wear it. Uh, I, my intention is to sell it, but I thought I'd start with that because it's been sitting off to the side of my counter for so long on its sad little green tag now. Now I've filmed it, I can put it away. Or listed, I guess. Hey, that's kind of the point of all this. I have an eBay store. I thought I should mention that more often. Um, pixel underscore and underscore frisket on eBay. And on there I have listed uh, jewelry and, and also mugs. I like mugs too, guys. Maybe you didn't know that about me yet. But I also like to resell uh, mugs. <laughs> Mugs and jewelry. I guess that's my thing. So anyway, find me on eBay. Ask me for the link if you're having trouble finding it. Um, I'm having trouble linking it. So maybe together we could figure it out. Let's start with what we have in this bag now. So here, first of all, is a clamper bracelet. Gold tone. And it's got that swirly, shimmery enamel paint in peach. And like a cream and dark burgundy. Interesting color combination, but actually I really like it. It's pretty clamper. Oh, I'll be a supermodel for a minute here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, I don't like, I don't mind it. I don't like wearing bracelets, but I don't mind that. Um, so this must be a sweater clip or just super fancy mitten clips, right? <laughs> How does that open up? Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, so you'd clip the, your sweater on one side here and snap to hold your sweater together. If you didn't have buttons or if you didn't want to use the buttons, it's sort of a fashionable option to hold your sweater together. Uh, I think usually it was worn up higher, closer to like, you know, above your breast kind of thing. Uh, anyway cute. I've never tried to use one and I'm often holding my sweater clothes so maybe I should try that out, hey? This is a chunky ring. I gotta straighten out my rings every time. There we go. So it's got sort of a, I don't know, a foggy glass cabochon. It's, I don't think it's trying to be anything, maybe moonstone, but definitely not. And then there's a little bit of an AB sparkle on those rhinestones. It's big. It's not an adjustable ring, which I kind of like. It's a big, empty, hollow situation in there. Oh, kind of hard to see. 
yeah, I don't know. It's interesting enough. And then we have this scarf clip. It's that sort of filigree style. It feels so lightweight. Like it feels plastic. I think it is plastic to be honest with you. And there's a little faux pearl down in the middle. It's super shiny. It looks brand new. It feels like plastic. And we've got a couple of earrings on a card that says Mia girl. But I don't know if that's actually... Oh yeah, it says Kim... Let's see if it says anything on the earring itself. They're kind of pretty though. I like the... What is it? Like a mint green. Little dots. And nothing written on the inside anywhere. But they're kind of cool. I kind of like them. Okay, next, a watch, a rose gold watch, USS it says on the face there, rhinestones, this fake animal print, oh, we're missing it on this side, someone else wanted two bucks for it, eh. oh wow, that's zoomed still, thank you. Hmm. No, I don't like it. Here's a pair of earrings. Enamel, swirly, shimmer enamel and gold tone. Definitely looks like something my mum might have had. Hmm. Hmm. Cloisonne. Bolo. Would that be on a bolo? tie or a belt buckle somehow <laughs> I don't know it would be nice to repurpose that because it's really pretty nice colors nice clean clean work I like that it'd be nice to turn that into something else a ring like that a spring Could be fun to to wear that every now and then maybe and let's see here we gotta dump out more of this bag now I think I had combined two small bags into one here this is probably like an eight dollar haul instead of a five dollar haul um, there's a pair of hoops gold tone sort of a uh, rough finish and here is a chunky pendant Ooh. big heart all the pinks all the pink sparklies are here nothing written on the back decent chunky silver tone chain to go with nice Yeah, that's pretty cool. I don't know if I'll wear it, but... And then we have a pair of earrings. These are nice. I like these too. Gold tone with a pink stone square on an angle. I like those. Yeah. Nice. I have to wear those once I think here's another pair of earrings again with the swirly peach enamel paint these guys could totally go together okay nothing on the bottoms nothing on the tops either this is a gold tone chain. Hmm. We don't see a clasp. Or is that what's happening there and it's all tangled up? I don't know. Anyway, gold tone chain. This is a sort of a light green 
pearl, faux pearl bead necklace. Oh, a beaded strand with sort of this flower design. Oh, it feels so delicate and soft and nice. And those clear beads are pretty cool. <laughs> Let's do a little seed bead to her. You can see right down into the middle of them, sort of a yellowness, but they're clear overall. And then the, the long green ones are quite, quite cool as well. <laughs> that looks really nice. I like them. They feel cool. I, I feel like I'd probably break them within half an hour, but there's a ring. Looks right worn down, whatever it was. Feels very lightweight. Yeah, look at that gold tone just rubbed away. Yuckiness. And there's a pin. And another pin, the same, two of those. Here's a little elephant charm. And what he's got his trunk up with a little ruby chip there, maybe? Okay, let's get that zoomed in on the trunk. Yeah, it looks like it. That might be from that Diamonds International charm bracelet thing. And the last thing in here is this pendant pink um, stone of some sort with little rhinestones. Turning it around, There's, it's open at the back like this. No marks of any kind, unfortunately, but it's pretty pretty, pretty pretty. And there we go. That's that quick little haul for you. Um, yeah, we've got more coming up, of course. So if you haven't already, please subscribe. Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, we're learning a lot together about the jewelry and uh, having fun. Thanks for any of your comments, liking, subscribing, and I'll talk to you soon.